Okay, y'all. I'm back. This is part two of um, my video. The first part I was talking about a bad a bad experience that I well I called it a bad purchase. That's what I named the video, um, and that was about my lace wig. So just to recap that, it was just about me purchasing these two lace wigs, and the size was just really off. Um, too big for my head. The first one was too small. The other one was too huge. And then the color is just crazy. Um, you know, it is a size one and I did order the size one, but you know, I'll take responsibility for that. So just really, really, really off and just not for me, you know, just not satisfied. And then me calling that customer, I mean the, um, the seller, they did not want to, you know, take the merchandise back. So that's that. But now in this video, I'm just showing, I got these things like last month before, way before the holidays even came in. So, um, yes, I do wear weaves, but I'm used to wearing like long weaves, you know. So I wanted to try something different. Once again, I see all the beautiful ladies and they're doing their videos. And so I want to do them too, you know. I'm not a copycat or anything, but, you know, I, I have to get out of my little element that I'm in with just sticking with one thing. So I bought um, the Sensational Bump Collection, which is the Bump J Feather, and I bought it in a color 33 because I want to experience, you know, with the colors, which is not too far away from my color, actually. It's just a couple of shades lighter because my hair is, like, this sort of 33 close to that, but, um, so the closest with my hair, if I purchase a number four, it's kind of, like, just sort of blends with my hair very well. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to try this. Okay, that's one. <clears throat> and then I also got the Premium, Ultra Premium Doobie. And I bought it in a 1B um, because this particular style is kind of cute to me. It got like, I see four different styles where I could wear it, you know. And um, out of the four, I, I see three of me wearing <laughs> and that's this one here, the one down here, and possibly that one up there. You know? So, I'm going to give it a try. And for my baby, I bought her a little ponytail. That was the free chest ponytail for the kids. Right now, she has her braids in her hair. And this is kind of cute. This is, it says New Deep. And it's a free chest drawstring ponytail for children. So that's pretty. She'll be having that in soon. And I got, what is this? Milky Way, Shake and Go, Milky Way, Q. I have a 10 inch and a 12 inch the 10 inch was 9.99 and the 12 inch was 14.99 and i ordered all of these from hairsisters.com so everything came from hairsisters.com so my intentions are to give myself a nice beautiful weave such as i did my daughter if anyone has seen you know me showing her um in the video where i was blow drying my hair and then i told my daughter to come in so you could see her um see her hair that i had sewed in because the video didn't upload so these are my intentions i may possibly do something down the middle leave some hair out in the top and blend it over um i'm not really with all that glue so i'm just being so lazy right now you guys i don't know why it's like i had a burst of energy and it's like now i just have none where my intentions was just to braid my hair, you know, because I, I can't braid it around the circle myself. So that means that I'm going to have to leave the, top, the front out, excuse me, or just braid it, braid it all back and braid it side to side, you know, so I can have it nice and flat, like a nice flat corn braid going down the middle and then, um, you know, have my tracks going in nicely so I can um, braid it around in a circle. But, um... <sighs> I'm not really used to putting those weaves in myself. I put the wig caps on when I do it. But I usually do it with this Batik hair. And I also purchased this, the Batik hair. 
but I usually usually use um, loose I think it's loose body or loose deep wave or something like that um, this time I want to try something different so I purchased the Botic deep wave and it's 14 inches I'm pissed because this hair does not look nothing like the hair that I seen on the picture um, actually um, on hairsisters.com so I'm kind of upset right now because um, I don't know how this is going to come out and with this particular hair with the way it looked I guess I'm going to have to actually really do something down the middle and this one I may possibly glue this one in because it's long and um I just don't like the way it looks. It's just, I'm not feeling this hair at all. Not at all. I'm just not feeling this hair. I mean, it's a pretty hair, but I'm talking about for myself because it's so long. It's, I don't know. I'm just saying that now. I don't, I don't know. I don't know whether I should sew it in and really get like my money's worth out of it because not for nothing bought care yes it's cheap but it is a good um investment for a synthetic type of hair um because when you wash it you get in the shower if you sew it and you wash your hair and you condition it when you come out it's like so beautiful it's like the whatever kind of wave or the pattern it just stays you know you're going to get your money's worth out of this brand for sure um so I'm just used to getting the loose body. <clears throat> That's just the one I'm used to getting. Um, and I love that brand. I love that particular curl. And um, I've also had the Jerry curl before. I know out of this particular brand, I'm going to try the, um, what is it, the J something? Let's see. I think it's um, the J body. I'm going to get that um, somewhere down the line because right now I got too much going on right here. And um, I'm also expecting some short wigs. I've never worn short hair only one time. I put a 27 piece in my hair. And you should see me, ladies. <laughs> when I try to put these little weaves in my hair, the quick weaves, but I made a wig. And... Um, because I never did it before. It's like I'm a little kid with a lollipop. I'm like, oh, oh my God, oh my God. I'm so excited. And I'm nervous at the same time because I'm, I'm not used to wearing those things. And in the back of my head, all I, I'm thinking is, oh my God, I hope this thing don't make my hair fall out. This, this thing don't make my hair fall out. So, <sighs> I don't know. I got to get over I got like anxiety issues, I guess, you know. So, um... This is the last that I have, and I'm also going to show, ooh, get this hair in this package. Um, yes, I ordered from e.l.f., just like everybody else, so what? I've never experienced their products before other than their lip glosses um, and nail polish. don't like the nail polish, so, but um, I got some things, and I'm going to share with you before this video goes off. So that's it with the hairs. Okay. And this wig I have on is one of my old friends. One of my old girls. As I told you before, I don't throw nothing away. As y'all can see. You know, I just took her out of the package. She's been washed. I washed all of my wigs um, last month. November actually I just took everything out of the closet although I had washed them before and I just rewashed everything and then put them away because I know I do like to wear my wigs but usually before I even like go to wash it I, I mean go to put them on my head I'm sorry I usually wash them and you know let them sit and air dry and um and then I put it on that way it doesn't have any crinkles in them and I don't gotta constantly run in my hands through because as you guys see I always do that right but um, that's that. So this is my little stuff I got from Elf. And I got this last week. Make it quick, let's see. 
what is this? This is Shimmering Facial Whip. I bought myself another eyebrow stencil kit. These are all a dollar too. Um, ooh, dropping some stuff. I bought the waterproof eyeliner pen. I bought Posh, um, the elf lipstick, Posh. And I bought the shimmer pencil and ionic ivory. And then I got, what is this? An eye duo shadow cream. And this is coffee and cream. And then I got another one, another duo eyeshadow cream. And this is very mixed. I got another shadow cream and this is liquor black licorice and I bought those for bases to put under my eyeshadow I already tried one I opened up one of them and that one that I opened is ooh, what is this blueberry yes this is it right here and I took the gray and I put it as a base and then I put my shimmery gray um eyeshadow over that because i wanted to see how it comes out usually the um base that i have it's white you know and usually when you put it on it's like putting the milk on the milk um is it the next milk and how it leaves the eye white well i want it gray and i only put it here in the um uh just below the crease just on the eye thing right there uh, and i bought a blush this is a natural radiant blusher but a blush. Uh, <clears throat> I purchased another. What is this? And honey, it's called All Over Cover Stick. It treats under eye blemishes and skin redness in the color honey. And I bought another lipstick. And this is called Classy. And I got another defining eye brush. I think I'm going to give this to my daughter. Being that she's starting to experiment, experiment with her makeup as well. And I got a shimmer pencil and twinkle teal. <clears throat> uh, lip gloss. I love the e.l.f. lip glosses. This is watermelon. And I have... This is... I love this one. This is Iced Latte. <laughs> this is one of the first things that I ever purchased um, of Elf. And I love it. And it's a super glossy lip shine. And another shimmer pencil in Grassy Green. And another lip gloss in Pink Kiss. And then I bought this, I think it's for like three dollars. This is the Mineral Eye Brightener Natural Minerals um, and Buff. And I think you're supposed to put that. I says I think you put it here in the tear ducts and also on the sides of your eye. Whatever. <laughs> and then I got a smudge eye sponge. That way I could do my creases or do my little V's right here and everything could be precise. So, and I have another order from Elf. See? And then this order was the 11 piece brush collection. That's what that was. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm pissed off because before I even open that, because everybody know what that is, let me tell y'all how I order from eBay, and this is why I would never order from eBay again. Let me tell you, the pictures are nothing like what they say it is. Look at this. This is supposed to be glitter, right? And it's supposed to be a 70 piece glitter. This is some 99 cent bullshit. And I keep cursing in my videos. I'm pissed. This is some 99 cent bull mess. This is garbage right here. Okay? Never again. I pay like $5 for this. Okay? This is garbage. I'm tired of them. I can't deal with them anymore. I'm just done. I'm like totally done. Then this is supposed to 